that are missing. Okay? So effectively, if I, so if I say expand this out with the missing terms, this becomes x to the zero plus there's zero x to the ones plus x to the twos plus zero x to the threes plus x to the fours plus zero x to the fives plus x to the six plus dot dot dot. Okay? So effectively, this power series now, which we developed from the substitution into the constant sequence of an x squared, okay, is actually encoding the sequence. Okay, it's actually encoding the sequence. So the coefficient of the x0 is 1. The coefficient of the x1 is 0. The coefficient of the x2 is 1. The coefficient of the x3 is 0. 1, 0, 1, dot, dot, dot. So my point here is this, is that when we make a substitution into a known sequence, okay, when we substitute in for the indeterminate x, when we substitute in the square of it, the effect is to introduce a zero between each term in the sequence. Okay? Keep that in mind. That's, that's important. That's an important observation. Right? So if you want to introduce a single zero into a sequence, why don't you just swap out the x's in the power series for x squareds which would mean that you would have to swap out the x's in the generating functions also for, for x squared. And what we end up with is we end up with the sequence that alternates between terms with a zero between terms. So because we've made the substitution here of x to be x squared, the generating function associated with this, don't forget the generating function associated with the constant power series, g1 of x is simply equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So the generating function associated with this particular sequence, which is the alternating sequence, let's just call it uh, g1 comma 0 of x, is the substitution for x is x squared. So it's 1 minus x squared. So that would be the generating function that has introduced a 0 uh, for the con within the constant sequence. Okay? What about if I introduce an x squared? Okay? So let's just introduce an x squared and let's see how we get on. Okay, so once again, let's look at the constant sequence. And let's see the effect of introducing an x squared. And then we're sort of ready to start these problems, I believe, yeah? So let's say we consider, so let's consider again, the sequence one, 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 dot, dot, dot. Uh, its power series is simply x to the zero plus x to the one plus x to the two plus x to the three plus dot, dot, dot. And let's make the substitution. Let's say let x equal x cubed. Okay, so we're going to make that substitution into this sequence here. So what happens? So the first x becomes x cubed, but it's x cubed to the 0. Plus the next x becomes x cubed, so it's x cubed to the 1. Plus the next one becomes x cubed, which is x cubed to the 2. Plus the next one is x cubed, which is x cubed to the 3. Plus da, da, da. Well, x cubed 3 times 0, anytime you have an exponent raised to a power, you multiply the exponent, so 3 times 0 gives a 0. So this becomes x to the 0 plus 3 times 1 is 3, so this becomes x cubed. 3 times 2 is 6, so this becomes x6. Plus 3 times 3 is 9, so this becomes x to the 9 plus dot, dot, dot. And we can see the missing terms. There's an x1 missing and an x2. There's an x4 and an x5, an x7 and an x8. So actually, let's encode it with the missing terms. So we have x0 plus 0x1 plus 0x2 plus the x to the 3 plus 0x4 plus 0x5 plus the x to the 6. And it continues in that particular fashion. So this is now encoding the sequence. Look at the coefficients. The coefficient of the x to 0 is a 1, followed by a 0, followed by a 0, followed by a 1, followed by a 0, followed by a 0, followed by a 1. So the effect of introducing an x cubed for all the indeterminants x is to introduce two zeros between terms. And the argument continues. So for example, if we let if we let x equal x to the four, well what that will actually introduce <clears throat> uh, what that will actually introduce now is it'll introduce three zeros. Okay, so it will become it's encoding it's in, it will encode the sequence one zero 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 one zero 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 one and so on. Okay. And that's an important observation. One other observation is let's say if we if we just introduce a negative value, okay? So once again, let's consider, let's consider one, 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 dot, dot, dot. And let's do the substitution, which encodes the power series x to the zero. It's encoded in the power series x to zero plus x to the one plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. And let's say we let, 
x equal minus x. So we're just substituting in everywhere we see the indeterminate x, we're going to substitute in minus x. So the power series now becomes minus x to the 0 plus minus x to the 1 plus minus x squared plus minus x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Any number raised to the 0 is just 1. So x, this is equivalent just to x to the 0. So this is x to the 0, which is 1. Okay? Plus, oh, well, actually, let me just rewrite this. This is x to the 0. Okay? And minus x raised to the power of 1 is the same as minus x. Minus x squared is the same as plus x squared. Minus x cubed is the same as minus x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. The sequence that this is encoding is 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1, and so on. You can see that this introducing a negative value, okay, irrespective of whether it's an x or an x squared or an x cubed, introduces an alternating sequence between positive and negative values. Okay? So I think we're ready to go now with our examples, equipped with these, with these particular observations. I think we're ready to go. So with the observation that we can substitute in for x, a, an x that has a higher power, and the effect is to introduce zeros, and also the observation that we introduce a negative x, the effect is to alternate between positives and negatives. Okay? Uh, actually, one other thing that we probably need to consider is if we multiply a sequence by x. Okay? So, that's actually the final thing to consider. Then we have our three, our three important facts. So once again, let's consider, let's consider uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on. Okay? Its power series is x to the 0 plus x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4, and so on. And let's multiply it by x. Okay? So let's multiply that power series by x. Okay? So let's multiply it by x. Well, what happens? x times x to the 0 becomes x to the 1. Uh, x times x to the 1 becomes x squared, x times x squared becomes x cubed, x times x cubed becomes x to the 